they don't like the policy because then the only people the rice is their main food. And if there's no rice, you know, it's like starving. Mayapur is a Mapidan, Banga after the tea, Yagas is the Enral, Satis Ramam, Yenral, Abadan, the Raya, so Sapur over there. Adanal, Yagas, the sea, brother and brother, or the particular brother, one of the land. So arrangement was made somehow that Dean got this concession that if he would do full fasting on this day, not even drinking water, then he didn't have to worry about the other countries. And now, in the city, 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 in the year, maybe sometimes you didn't observe the policy properly, maybe you forgot and ate something which you shouldn't have eaten on the policy day, then you can make up for it, you can atone for it by observing this Pandava near Jali policy, by doing the full vrat on this policy day. <laughs> So this ecology is an important day in the calendar and Shri Prabhupada was very concerned that this devotee It is said that if you if you eat grains on the Ekadasi day, then you are killing your spiritual teacher. It's also said that the personification of all sins resides in grains on the Ekadasi day. So Shiva Prabhupada was very concerned that we would strictly follow the policy by not eating grains or beans on this policy day. to Sanatana Goswami in writing Haribhakti Vilas that he should warn the devotees to strictly follow the, the proper time for breaking the ecology. There's a, a particular period in the early morning, particular time when you're supposed to break and the fast. So, these times can vary according to your geographic location. So, the devotees try to bring out calendars and also um, timetables to help us know what is the proper time for breaking the fast. In the north of Thurakum Nairamala, over in that team, who got a high paper tree, the main paper tree in the day, Adanal, Pakhtar Gal, Ullu, Nal Kati, Durangal Padi, in the era that see north of Thurakum Nairamala, Purayaga, Anishikarendo. We have uh, one devotee, you know, 
Goloka, a disciple of Jaipataka Swami Maharaj, and only seeing the Bodhi, he's an astrologer, and he's very, he, he does an almanac, uh, proper time and proper place, and, and he publishes a, a, a calendar every year with the times for breaking the fast. Just to help you understand how important observing ecology is, I had the experience that uh, I was in Calcutta Temple in 1976 or 75 and it happened that the cook had made a vegetable and put beans in it. He put uh, the string beans in the vegetable. So when, when the devotees realized that there were beans in it, they told Prabhupada because Prabhupada was actually there in Calcutta at that time. And somehow, just at that time, when Prabhupada was there, the devotee had cooked the subject, not for Prabhupada, but for all the devotees, and he put beans in the vegetable. So the devotees were taking prasada, and all of a sudden, somebody called out, Oh, look, there's beans in this vegetable. <laughs> So Jaipataka Swami Maharaj was there at the time because Prabhupada was there so he had come from Mayapur to be with Prabhupada and he, he immediately, he was very upset and he went to Prabhupada's room and offered his obeisances and then he said to Prabhupada, Prabhupada, the devotee has put beans in the vegetable and we've all eaten it, we've all broken the condoms. So Prabhupada looked up and looked him in the face very seriously and said, this is very bad. You, you all have to fast for three days. So that was Prabhupada's initial response and uh, naturally the devotees were feeling very guilty and very sorry that they, this is Anyway, after some time, Prabhupada reconsidered and had some mercy and he said, Tomorrow you have to all observe the policy again. So then here's one example of how, how serious it is for us to follow the policy. However, we should understand there are different ways in which we follow the policy. It's not that everyone has to observe full fasting on the Ikhalas. I was in South India at the beginning of the year and 
the Manvas, they also observe fasting. And they, they observe the full fasting on the Ekkalas. Yeah, they have a Sanskrit college in Bangalore and there's like about 300 students there, young men studying Sanskrit. So they, they, they get the meals from the Mantra temple, but on the But there are different ways in which to observe the fasting. And when Srila Prabhupada began Krishna consciousness in the Western world, then Srila Prabhupada also introduced, he taught the devotees about observing Kharasi, but he, he taught them that on a Kharasi you should have a feast. So when I joined Krishna Consciousness Movement, it was like that. That on the Ekadasi day, we would not eat breakfast. There was no breakfast that morning, but there was a feast for lunch. Of course, the feast was all Ekadasi Prasadam. We didn't eat any rice or grains or beans. We had tapioca and we had potatoes and But it was a very satisfying meal. Nobody ever felt hungry after the Ekadasi Prasad. So we see some examples of the Kharasi in the Lila of uh, different devotees. Just like one time the devotees of the Gaudiya Mat were all observing fasting for Kharasi. So this was in the time of Vishnu and Vishnu Bhad Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur Prabhupada. In his time, he was staying in the temple and the devotees were observing fasting for Ekadasi. But that day, an invitation came for the devotees that that somebody was having a program and he was inviting all the devotees to come and do kirtan and preach at the program. So the devotees heard that people wanted a program, they said, no, no, we can't come, we're all fasting today, we're not going to come for any program today, we're all observing fasting. 
And there are six items of surrender. First of all, accepting everything favorable to Krishna and rejecting what is not favorable. You know that maybe some of you know the six items of surrender. So first of all, accepting what is favorable and then giving up what is not favorable. And then knowing that only Krishna can protect us and only Krishna can maintain us. And then we should have no desire other than Krishna's desire. And then this, this, the final item is that we should always be meek and humble. So we have actually not talked about that in that
they be the, ma the mother of devotion. They give birth to devotion by taking shelter of these days. How to take shelter of the Ekadasi? Do more hearing and chanting. So many of our temples nowadays, they take advantage of the Ekadasi to have a special program that day and people will come in the evening after work they make a point come to the temple in that evening and they'll have kirtan and there'll be some sangha and there'll be some pita and in this way people will become enriched in Krishna consciousness on this holy day of the Kadasi. <laughs> So we see one pastime of the Kadasi, it comes in Srimad Bhagavatam there. There's the pastime when Maharaj Ambarish was observing fasting on the Kadasi day. And Durvasa Muni had come that day, in that very morning on the Dwadasi. He come there in the morning with all of his disciples. Durvasa Muni was a great yogi and a big sannyasi and guru with many disciples and he was jealous of the popularity of Maharaj Ambarish. Maharaj Ambarish was a householder and he was a Kshatriya, he was a king, he was a ruler and he had his kingdom and he had his family and so on. But he was a very pious person, very wonderful, saintly king. And all the citizens loved him and they gave him so much honor and respect that it ended the Vasamani didn't like so Durvasa Muni planned to bring some trouble to Maharaj Andrich. He knew he was fasting on the Kadasi. So he came there the next morning and he came there telling Andrish Maharaj that, you know, I'm, I, want, I will take food. I'm going to take bath first. When I come back after my bath, you should have some meal ready for me and my soldiers with my disciples. We will take food. In the Paramahinal, Duruvasa Muniva, Amarisha Mananaki, Tolai Kurita Vinayanal. Amanal, Ega Desi Tidi, Marunal, Dua Desi Tidi Andre, Adhikara Ilaye, Amarisira Kanuran, Amarisha Kanuran, Amarisha Kanuran, Uravadita Pavadana, Kurita. So, Durvasa Muni went away with all of his disciples to take their bath, and they del deliberately took a long time. Prolonging 
அதிக நேரம் அவர் சிறந்தோடு ஈராடி கொண்டிருந்தார் so it, it came time for dirt for marriage and marriage to break this fast as i said this is a specific time where you have to listen and it's a period of time sometimes it's very short and sometimes it can be two or three or even four hours it varies every time it's not the same so some periods are very short and if they are this particular day it came time for maharaj anbarish to break his fast and then at the time era desi varada thai thorakkum nera vandathu இந்த ஏகாதசி பிறக்கும் நேரம் எப்பொழுதும் ஒரே அளவாக இருப்பதில்லை சில சமயங்களில் அந்த காலகட்டம் புரியதாக இருக்கும் சில சமயத்தில் அந்த காலகட்டம் சில மணி நேரமாக இருக்கும் இவ்வாறு இந்த ஏகாதசி விரதத்தை பிறக்கும் நேரம் வந்தது அவர்கள் you must eat the guests first and you cannot eat until you first of all fed the guests and satisfied the guests then only with their permission can you take food in your own house yenidum idakkendru or samadhaya irukkirathu or vidithinar nam vittirthu vandal avarkku unavalithu vittu adan pinbu naan unavarnodan andha samadhaya So Durvasamuni knew this, and he was purposely taking a long time taking bath. And Maharaj Ambarish is supposed to break fast, and the time came for breaking fast, and it wasn't very long. So he thought what to do. And he asked the Brahmana sages, he asked them for advice, what should he do? So they told him, you can drink water. இந்த விஷயத்தை அறிந்த குருவாசமுனிவர் வேண்டும் என்றே நேரத்தை கடத்தினார் ஏனென்றால் அன்றைய தினம் ஏகாதசி விரதத்தை பிறப்பதற்கு குறுகிய காலகட்டமே இருந்தது அதனால் கடத்தம் அடைந்த அம்பரீஷ மன்னன் அங்கிருந்த பிராமணர்களை கடந்து ஆலோசித்தார் அதற்கு அவர்கள் நீ நோட்டு பிறக்காவிட்டால் பரவாயில்லை சிறிது நீர் அறிந்தலாம் என்று ஆலோசனை கூறினார் some people they will observe every currency in their job it's not a big problem if you if you do it regularly it's not very difficult you can get used to it easily so because he had not eaten or drank anything when it comes to break the fast he doesn't have to eat anything you can just drink water and that breaks the fast that ends the fast ivar apurisha mandan nirkala ekadasi anushtitadanal avar endha neero aagaramo unnada kaaranathinal avar neer arindinal andha ekadasiyai purapadarkku samamaanadhu How many of you are fasting here down here today? So you, you can break the fast just by drinking water tomorrow morning. நான் அவருடைய விருந்தினர் 
மீது நமது கவனத்தை செலுத்த வேண்டும்
We have this nice temple. You gotta fill it.